Right, we are live. One second, I'm just going to quickly get the uh, chat thing up. Oh, one second. It's not coming up yet. Right, okay, there might be a duplicate bit of sound. No. Nope. It's not even saying I'm on. All right, there we go. Right, people in the chat, right, well, it's all right, it's all right, it's just me. I am on the screen. One second. Right, there we go. Right, people in the chat, right, well, it's all right, it's all right, it's just me. I am on the screen. One second. Right, there we go. Right, okay, we're ready, right. So, uh, sorry about that. I was, don't know, don't even know what I was doing. I was thinking that something was wrong, but it wasn't. So, yeah, hi, everyone. Uh, we've got Do It Yourself Lifestyle, we've got Andrew, we've got Crap in the Attic, which, as Ken, uh, as Nick said, or whoever it was, was it Zaheer? Zaheer uh, said, that is a great username, Crap in the Attic. That's absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, so auction hall today, guys. Strap yourselves in. Um, I'm looking at it all now. It's, oh, it's going to take a while to get through. Um, I think I'll just, like, do it really quick. I think I'll just be... On to the next thing. So, if you want to make a comment about an item or something, try and be quick, and then we can move on to the next item. Um, I'll probably end up rambling, and it probably will end up being quite a while anyway. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll try and get it done fairly quick. Um, we've yeah. So that's everyone in the chat. Oh, Tom J is in there as well, and the Treasure Pirate, which I believe is oh, who's the Treasure Pirate? Oh no, I forgot your name, Treasure Pirate. Um don't tell me, I know it. I need to I know it, I know it. I know it. Heather, that's it, Heather. Yeah, I told you not to tell me. Right, Heather. I do know who you are. I just had a mental block. Right, well, let's get on with it anyway. So first item, which I've literally just plugged in now to test because I wanted to actually tell you whether it was working or not. Um, it's quite a cool item, actually, and I got it for a steal. I got it for a fiver at Warrington Auction. Don't know whether you can... Let me flip flip back onto here, right? Warrington Auction, lot five. Um, now, usually, at an auction house, if you don't know this, they put, or at some auction houses, they put the best items first, like the best... First, like, 20 or so lots will be good you know good quality lots whether it's on an antique sale or a general sale um and usually they've got the higher estimates and people are going to bid up and stuff you know but they want to start the sale with a bang basically well at this auction house i don't think you really cared that much i mean it was more of an auction house you just all wham it out in any order you know it's fine you're going to get the bids all that sort of stuff so i don't think they were really too bothered about putting the best things out maybe they did put the best things out first but no one was interested i don't know but i got this at um, a really good price i was like i think i was the maiden bidder and i got it for a fiver plus commission obviously um but anyway it's this uh, sharp. I don't know how good the lighting is. I've changed round, like I'm I'm doing it this way rather than that way. Um, but I'm using my computer. So it's a uh, sharp double cassette twin mechanism uh, stereo radio cassette recorder. Um, I've tested the radio part of it. Then I'm not tested the cassette part of it, but tested the radio part of it. So we're we're half there. Um, yeah, I was really happy with a fiver. It was one of those items that I wasn't going to bid on. Wasn't even really looking at paying much attention to, but when it came up, I thought, you know what? Yeah, I'll have a bid on that, and I got it for five. So, um, yeah, these kind of there's weird prices all over the place. It's like I think there's some gone at about twenty quid. I think there's uh, either some listed or some sold for thirty quid, and then there's one guy who's managed to achieve on sold uh, fifty five or sixty quid. So. I don't know what that means. I mean, if it was in better condition, obviously I'm going to clean it up. You don't know whether you're going to see it very well, but it is very dirty and there's some marks and stuff. Uh, clean it up and stuff. Uh, if it was in fabulous condition, I'd shoot the moon on it, but 
I think I, I think that twenty to thirty pound range is probably going to be more realistic. As I say, if it was better than that, I'd probably shoot the forty or fifty. Maybe not quite the sixty, but certainly forty or fifty. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably clean it up and shoot for like uh, ads. You are dark. Oh right, I thought you meant like I am dark, as in like. Um, do you want me to turn the light on if I'm dark? It, it doesn't look that bad from where I am. One sec. One sec, let's turn the light on. Doesn't take two seconds. See if that's a little bit... I don't I don't think that's made any difference. No, because it's day, isn't it? I don't think that's made any difference. Is everyone else okay? Do, do, I, do I look really dark? Because it doesn't look that bad for me. Uh... Ah, Warrington auction isn't too far for me. Never been before, though. Oh, you should do. Um, hi, ads. Auctions down my whole way have become so expensive. Well, um, I think it really depends on the auction and the area. It really does. I do. I, I think, like, there's a big difference between Nutsford auction and Warrington auction. Like, Warrington auction is cheap and cheerful, great for dealers. They have, you know, fairly decent quality. You go down the road to Nutsford, it's a little bit more expensive, but then again, at that auction, I find better quality stuff. So you kind of you do pay up, but you do get slightly better quality stuff. And maybe this haul will actually reflect that. You know, I'll show you some items from Warrington, and then I'll show you some from Nutsford, and maybe you can compare. I don't know. But, yeah, um, so that's that. Anyway, probably going to go for, like, 20 or 30 quid. Oh, is that what you mean, when I'm bending over? Oh, yeah, I do look a bit dark when I'm bending over. Um not too bad you are a little shady not too bad it's not too, if it's bearable then that's okay uh, and i'll just change the view next time um but i didn't want to do it boom but i wanted to do it this way because i like doing it this way um but i didn't want to do it on my phone because I, I thought it would cut out i honestly thought it would cut out so that's that one we're gonna have to move on because I, I can't ramble like this we'll be here for all afternoon i mean i don't mind being here all afternoon because the items that I'm listing today are all annuals and we take like 20 minutes to photograph about 30 of them and then I can just whack them on tonight. So I don't mind being here all afternoon because I've got easy stuff to list. But yeah, I'd rather not be. Um, so vintage radios, I got these from Warrington again. Spares or repairs these are for, you know, you, they're not good condition. Um, but I got them for £7. It obviously started at a fiver. Someone bid six, uh, someone bid five. I must have, no, someone bid, someone bid five, how did I get to seven, maybe I bid five, they bid, yeah, I bid five, they bid six, I bid seven, that's how it must have worked, I don't know, but I got them for seven quid plus commission, so like eight pound fifty or nine pound all in, um, six vintage radios, this one is a purdy, um, and as I say, it's not the best condition, I'll open this up, this just comes off, it's like off its hinges or something, I don't know, and then, all right in there um so yeah proper like spares repairs job lot um and after the last time doing the vintage radios i said to myself oh i'm never doing i shouldn't have jumped outside my comfort zone i shouldn't have done the vintage radios i always say that you know what i'm like yeah every time i say i'm not going to do something again i will do it at least another four times before i end up not doing it ever again but I got it right this time on my second time. I went to a different auction house and I got them for a better price and I can make decent profit on these. Um, this Now, can anyone tell me what I know it's a bit dark actually there, but can anyone tell me what that word says there? I know it's F-I-F, but and, and I know there's an E at the end, but what's this letter here? Is it an R? I don't, I don't know. Um, but just hold that up again. F-I-F, and I think it's like R-E or something, but anyway, that's that one, so that's two of the six, uh, we've got this, this one's quite nice, um, yeah, it's quite, I mean, the condition's still pretty bad, but I mean, it's just quite quite a nice radio, I don't know whether, I yeah, it will have had some sort of like plastic cover over this bit or something, or maybe a glass cover, I don't know, um, but it's a Florida transistor six, so there's like six transistors in it, I assume. Um, Fidelity radio, so that's quite a nice one. Um, but for, for, you know, under nine quid or around about nine quid, I'm not sure what it was with commission, but it's not only more than nine quid. Um, I couldn't say no, so 
This one, I don't know what this one is actually. I've not done research into this one. I don't know what it's called or anything. I can't see a name or anything on it. But it was, there's a little Warrington auction sticker. Um, so that's that one. I've got this one, which is a Clairville. Like this one to me screams a little bit lower, lower range. I don't know whether it's the logo. Maybe it wasn't lower range at the time. I don't know, but um, it just screams a little bit more lower range to me. Um, and that's that one. And then this one, it looks quite nice as well. I mean, again, it's in bad condition, but I mean, it just looks like a, a decent radio when it was proper, fully functioning. Uh, and it's a list one. And this one has seven transistors. So that's that one. But obviously, I'm just going to do these as spares, as spares or repairs, market and that. And I'll still get some decent money back. Really not sure on how much money back, but I'd be wanting about a tenner of radio, really. I'd be hoping. As fingers crossed, I'd be hoping. But some some might be more desirable than that, even spares or repairs. Others, like that Florida one, that might, uh, that might be a bit higher. Whereas the others might be a bit lower, but if it averages out like a ten or a radio, I'd be really happy. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Uh, Fiverr. Yeah, that's what it. It it seems like it says that to me. F I R F F I F R E. Yeah. Um, it's contrast between the white doors and you. The camera is taking its light reading from the doors. Oh. Oh. Uh. One sec. Well, I can't really cover up the doors. I can flip you around if you want. I can flip you around that way, and we'll just do it from that way. Does, any, do, does anyone want me to do that? Um, where is your high-definition cam gone, dude? Uh, well, the camera that I did have was broken, but I thought this one was high. Well, sort of high-definition. Is it not? One second. Oh, sorry, sorry, I turned my camera off for a second there, I didn't mean to do it. I'll try and, one sec. Uh, oh no, I can't get the other camera out anyway. But the other camera has broken, definitely, I have before. But it shouldn't be too bad. Um, open the doors. No, I can't open the doors, because then all my clothes and stuff are showing. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, if you want me to turn it round, say now, because then, because we're not, we're not much into the hall. So if I turn it round now, then it's sorted for the rest of the hall. So anyone in the chat, if you want me to turn it round, if it's that bad, I'll turn it round. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's those. I'll put those back there. Everyone has this lighting trouble. Um, everyone does. I know Nick and Zaheer, when Nick was doing it outside the tap chat, that uh, in well, probably not winter, but around sort of winter time, winter, spring time, and he was doing it outside and the light kept fading and he kept going dark. So, you know, everyone has these troubles, but if I can sort it out for you, then that's great. So if you want me to turn it round, um, don't worry about it. It's not horrendous. Oh, well, I can turn it round. I'll just turn. Oh, wait one second. One second. Let's sort this out. Right. You might get a little bit of sneak preview at the hall now. One sec. May as well do things the right way instead of doing them the wrong way. So, sorry, there might be a bit of light exposure. Whee! What's going on here? Right. Close that. Put that about there. I should have just done it this way from... Oh, God. Right. There we go. Right. So, hmm. Looks a bit dark here now. Maybe it's just the day. I think it might just be the day. Is it darker here? It looks darker to me here. One sec. Let me see what we're saying in the chat. Afternoon, oh, David McGregor's in there. Um, yeah, give it a turn so we can see products a bit better. And your hair, I know my hair's horrible, isn't it? Um, yeah, ch just tell me in the chat if it's actually darker here. It looks darker to me. Got to go out. Sorry, lads, I'll catch up later. 
uh, tre he Treasure Pirate Heather has got to go out. It looks a bit darker to me here. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Right, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Can't wait forever, unfortunately. So, charity shop purchase. See, oh, no, I think it's a bit better here, actually. Charity shop purchase. Um, Harry Potter book box set. Not found one of these in ages. Really happy to find this. £8.95. Happy to pay that because it's like 30 to 40 quid. 40 quid on Amazon, really, although the corners do have a little bit of wear, so it might be a bit less than that. Sort of 30 quid on eBay, I imagine. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, more these days, but yeah. Happy to pay the £8.95 for that. So that was quite nice. Um, put that back there. Um, oh, other charity shop purchase while we're doing them. These were some Levi's. I paid four ninety nine for them the other day, like yes, not yesterday, day before. Um, got the little patch on the back and everything. The fiber ones. Uh, I want to say thank you to Lee as well for his help with these. Um, so yeah, happy with them. Ooh. They have got some wear on the hems, but I thought I would pick them up for for a fiver. I thought, yeah, I'm I'm still gonna take a chance on them even with that. That bit of wear there. Um, I think I'd be lifting these for about 20 quid. Not sure. I think Levi's go in that sort of range. I'm going to have a double check, but I think it's about that sort of range anyway. So I'll lift maybe £20 plus postage, something like that. I'm not sure. I'll have another look at prices, but yeah. Um, I paid £1 for my Levi's today. £1. See, I never see clothes except like the pound shops. Unless I go in pound shops, I never see... Um, like clothes for you know like jeans especially for a quid i hope yeah you know, i've seen women's jeans a couple of times for a quid but yeah um that wear is nothing five or what more like 29.99 really wow okay i'll price for that and i'll price for the moon and see what shoot for the moon and see what happens um so that's those oh something really quite unusual wow I think it's unusual. I don't think it actually. I don't think you guys may, may find it that unusual if you've been dealing in like metalware or, or whatever for a while. But I just think it's unusual because I've not seen them. Well, I've seen this before. Um, and this is my grandma got this, and she got it for four ninety nine. And uh, she said, "I've got this like tea uh, tea kettle or coffee pot or whatever it was. I think it's more suited towards coffee." To more more than tea it just it's just got that look to it i don't know whether i'm right or not but it just looks like it's got a bit more of a coffee pot look to it but what intrigued me was that there's a little pipe here don't know what that was from what that's for i don't want to say it's anything to do with steam i mean i was just thinking that but i don't think so because steam rises so steam would come out of here i don't know i just i, I don't know what what that little pipe is for but she saw it in a charity shop she picked it up um for 4.99 and she said you know do you want it or, or should i return it um and i thought oh you know what my grandma's picked up some decent items for me but she's made a few error purchases um so i was like well yeah i'll have a look at it i'll have a look at it but i, I looked at it and i thought you know what that could be something i think she's done quite well there um the handle is really nice i don't know where you can see that um it's almost like i, I don't even want to say wood i don't want to say i mean i don't know i really don't know like i was thinking it was wood at first and then i thought bone of some sort but i don't know if it's wood it's been treated with something whether it's a varnish or I, I don't know i really don't know i don't know enough about this stuff but got a little like brass top on it here bit loose that is and the handle is a little tiny bit loose here um but nice no marks or anything just just cool item really um so i'll see what the guys are saying in the chat about that um it's baker like the handle's baker like ah oh baker light right nice um how is your listing challenge going david oh david's doing a listing challenge i didn't even know that oh the instagram thing oh yeah um so i thought that was nice and i thought right i'll have that so i'm yet to pay my grandmother 4.99 i need to give her 4.99 but also she got this with it for 3.99 
And I've took this off her as well because that, I think that's nice. It's got these little copper sort of rivets in here, I think, that hold this little like little brass ring down on it, which is a nice decorative sort of piece there. Um, and again, a wider one at this bottom here all the way around. Um, don't know what this little section is here. Can you see in the handle? I don't know whether that's just to hold it more easily. I really don't know. Um, but it's nice little brass and copper item, like a milk jug. Um, but it's got this, like, indentation here. You, you see what I mean? It's like, it's not cut off. It's not flat. It's like, it, 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 it's hard to explain. It's got like a little, not a well. You know what? You, know, you can see it for yourselves anyway. I, I just don't get why this is hollow here. Uh, that's what I'm meaning. But yeah, that, that action was a little bit weird then. But um, yeah, so that's nice. I thought for 3 99 I'm going to have that. Um, probably going to list that for like 15 quid, see where I go. Um, I don't know, £15 plus postage, am I going too low there? Um, but I think that's got to be around about the money on that. So, yeah, that's quite a nice quite a nice item there. Uh, well, they're both quite nice items. So, you know, I took them off the hands. If I've done wrong, I've done wrong, but I think they're, they're okay, those. Um, arts and crafts style jug. You know what? That's what I'm thinking for a keyword as well. It's nice. They're, they're nice. Um, yeah, so that's those. Right. I wanted to very quickly mention these little Lego cards. Uh, one second. These little Lego cards. Now, my mum got me some more today. She got, well, no, sorry, yesterday. She got me some more. So a few, I've sold these about two or three times now. And I've just whacked them on auction. And I got like three quid for the first lot of about five or six. Um, I got, for a lot of 17, I just got 12 pound odd. And then there's 13 here, so I expect to get about nine quid for them. But these are, I just wanted to explain, these are given away by Sainsbury's at the moment. And, um, you know, you can whack them online. There's going to be some money in them for you. Not a lot. Um, so, but I just thought if you're getting them for free and you've not got, you, you know, like say you've not got kids or whatever, but they're offering them to you in Sainsbury's. If you shop at Sainsbury's, then just pick them up, whack them online, maybe uh, get a little stack together and then whack them online. So, yeah. So that's them. I thought I'd just mention that quickly because they were to hat to hand when I was bringing some of this stuff in. So that's those anyway. Make a little bit of money for nothing. You know, why not? So that's those. Uh, one second. What should I do next? Top hat. Top hat. It's here, isn't it? So um, this, I was intrigued by this and I was thinking, I wonder what top hats go for. You know, I'm into hats. Why don't I start selling them? And I've been thinking this for months and months and months. And I have sold hats. And I saw one yesterday, actually, funnily enough. Um, and I saw one a week ago as well. But um, I never had much success with selling hats. They, they seem to be very slow. Um, maybe if you get the right ones, great. Maybe like them new era ones, maybe they go better. But, you know, just general hats, like flap caps, things like that, don't really seem to do well. But I'm not. Um, or don't seem to sell very fast. So I've not really explored like antique hats or vintage hats. So I thought I'd buy this. Problem is, I think I paid up a little bit for it. I think I paid a bit too much, to be honest. Um, and when I say paid up, I mean that there's not that much profit in it to warrant the investment. I'm not sure. There might be. There might be because it's really like, it's sort of, this item is sort of like makeupaprice.com region. So it's not like I could have, you know, it's not like I've not made profit, but I don't know. It, I really, the pricing on this has really stumped me. But it's a uh, Scott & Co. It says it in there. There's some wear or something to the, to the lining in there, some stains or something. Don't know. It's sort of like, uh, not mold spots. I don't want to say mold spots, but you know when you get that, Sometimes you get that on your ceiling, don't you? And, and those little spots. So I don't know, but it's a grey one. I don't. It's not silk. Oh, one sec. I just put that there. It's not silk or anything. I did look on completed and sold. Um, the silk ones from this company do really well. Now, oh, oh, there's a little moth or something on it. Oh, right. <laughs> did you see that fly away? Anyway, right. Um. Yeah, I think there's was the one. I think there was this grey one listed. It had a slightly different box, but 
but it was like very, very similar to this. And I'm sure it was listed for like a hundred odd quid. I don't know whether that's realistic or not. I really don't. And I was looking on Completed and Solds and a grey one like this, don't know whether it had a box or not. I'm not sure, but it sold for 40 quid. So that's a really annoying thing because I'm thinking, yes, I know I can get 40 quid for it, but I'm sure this one I'm thinking of that's listed it's, is at like 100 and odd quid. So where do I go with this? I paid £25 plus commission or £20. One sec. Let me get my little thing out. I think it was 25 but it may have been 20 25 25 pound plus commission best part of 30 quid including commission so i don't know could i get 60 out of it maybe with its box in in, the, in its current condition it, again another thing with top hats is size and again i don't know if you've seen that there's a there is a little bit of a mark on it here um but the thing with top hats is size doesn't quite fit me i'm like mid-range head I mean, it sort of does it sort of does but maybe it could sit a bit no maybe it does maybe it does fit me but i did try it on earlier it didn't seem to sit right but um i'm like a medium size head um so if it doesn't quite fit me it might be a small if it uh if it does fit me if that is right how it sits there it just feels a bit tight if that is right then it's like a sort of medium which is like in hats i think it's about 58 centimeters so yeah that's that one here. i got it with the box there's got to be some money in it there's some profit in it but i just don't know it's hard it's so hard with this sort of stuff it's so hard because it's not like you go it's not like a twist again where you go on it's like 9.99 11.99 10.99 it's like you really don't know you really don't know you know it's one of the things that you just gotta make up a price and and hope for the best so but might you know i could stick it on for 80 quid and i might get it straight away i don't know but it's one of them things you're just having a clue um if you don't sell i mean that's that's the other thing do it yourself uh lifestyle says um if you don't sell it keep it for the collection and no that's exactly what i'm going to do so you know i can't complain i am tempted to keep it right now because i've not got a gray one um but i thought you know it's okay it, it's okay I'll, I'll i'll buy it so i did take a bit of a chance on that one but i already knew like before the auction i was going to take a chance on it so that was that uh, i've done those um something whoop something really cool this is a really really cool, cool lot a uh, little lot um phoebe says very hot in essex today but all good thanks yeah it's quite warm here actually um so let me go back onto my little viewer thing right there we go let, let's get into a bit of a rhythm with this because i'm being very slow um so this is a z victor for uh the talking police car i don't know whether it works i've not tested it yet it's in good condition that is in good condition for its age but there is something there don't know what that is whether that's rust or i don't know but i think i could pick a bit of that off it's actually uh round one of the one of the little uh oh what's called screws uh i lost my words then for a second but yeah it's round one of the little screws um i believe it's 1973 1973 pretty cool i need to check if it's working obviously but it does look in reasonable condition so i'm hoping it is um these are pretty decent pretty decent these are especially box um yeah i mean i've seen them go from i think i'm gonna shoot from anywhere to 30 to 50 probably 50 because i'm not got anything to lose but if it's not working obviously i'll lower that 50 down to probably 30 something like that they've gone it's weird because there's some that's gone for like well there's a few that have gone for around the 10 pound um and then there's like other variations like other box versions like different has a different box that have also gone for lower but i do feel like if i shoot for it i can get that that higher price um also what was going to say also there's uh the exact same ones of these on for really high money pretty high money indeed like near 100 quid so I do think it's achievable to get that 50, but um, 
you know, it would have to be in decent condition. Obviously, I'd want it to be working, that sort of stuff. So I'm happy with that, and it looks in decent condition. So fingers crossed I can get that 50. Um, so that's that. Um, I got, oh, this is nice. This is nice. The box is, now what you'll find this time, actually, just before I continue, is I've gone for, I took a few people's advice, and I went for better quality lots with maybe fewer items or less wastage. So what I mean by wastage is like less things that are just going to need taking to the charity shop or need going back in the auction or whatever. But this is nice. So this is a Dinky Toys 408 bed, Big Bedford Lorry. I think I'm going to shoot for about 40 on this. Might go a little bit higher, but nice condition. The wheels... I've, you know, minor amount of wear, really. For its age, it's decent condition, this. It really is, you know, it's decent condition. Um, it's got a little spare wheel on the under side of there. That looks to have a little bit of wearing or rust or something. But it is, it's in nice condition. It's boxed. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to shoot for about 40 quid. As I say, maybe a little bit more, but I'm happy with that. Uh, so that takes us up to, let's say, conservatively 80. Say I'll go for 40 on that. Um, I've got this. Oh, this is nice. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting excited now because I like this stuff. I do. I like this stuff. Um, Walt Disney Whirling Toy by Mark's Toys, 1964, boxed condition, Mary Poppins. There's a problem, though. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get really excited because this is a nice item. Lovely box condition as well. But, like, the box is in good condition. But you take it out, and it, it is working in one respect, in the fact that it is mechanically working. So it's got its little umbrella there. Lovely condition. Nice, nice umbrella. Um, but... You can see something's missing. Obviously, her feet are missing. So it's mechanically working. I'll just prove that to you now. Don't know why it was working. There you go. Don't know quite how well that's coming out, but it's shaking anyway. Um, yeah, one of these in box condition, really, you know, fantastic condition with the legs, everything's fine, has gone for just over 70 quid, including postage. So with the wear, I'm thinking 40 pound. I'm thinking maybe 50 at a push, but it's whether, it's whether someone's going to pay that. Now, I didn't check whether any were currently listed. I just checked sold. If there aren't any currently listed, I might just shoot for the 50 anyway, even with the legs missing, uh, you know, the feet missing, because it's quite a rare item, I believe, this one. So, yeah, I think I might just shoot for that anyway if it's non-currently listed. If there is others listed, then I may end up, um, you know, shooting a bit lower. But, yeah, I'm happy with that. I am, I am pretty happy with this. It's a nice item. It's a nice item again. Um, so that was that one, I'd say. Her umbrella is there. I'll just have a quick look in the chat because I've neglected it for a sec. Um, you sure the feet aren't up the skirt skirt there, Ad? Is that a joke or are you actually asking me to look? Because I don't know. Let's just check. No, no, they're not. I know I'll probably look like a fool doing that. But yeah, they're not they're not they're not up the skirt. You probably just made made a fool of me on camera there. Uh, David says, You got you gotta take a spoonful of sugar with listings like that, ads. <laughs> um now we've got something that's really nice. Again, another nice item. Um I'm just gonna go flip back to the camera because there we go. Right, uh, this is nice, it's really, really nice. One sec, let me all working. I wound it up before. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely item. You can feel the quality. Um, and it, it, all it is, you know, these little cars going round and round about. It's got this little mark on it. Don't know whether this is going to show up very well. 
It's like a V and a W. It's like VW's logo, actually, in the little thing. Now, can anyone recognize that logo? I know you won't be able to see it that well, but it's this thing in the middle here, um, there. So I don't know whether you'll be able to recognize it. I know the camera's not great when it focuses that close. And it says made in USSR. Um, honestly, I think that is a fairly valuable piece. Um, you know, similar money to the other items, you know, the 40 or 50 pounds. I'm just guessing at that because I just, I can feel the quality in it. I just feel like it is that sort of money. Um, but obviously I need things to, I need keywords and I need um, more knowledge on it to be able to list it. So, um, yeah, if anyone knows anything about this item, I would really appreciate a heads up on some keywords or anything uh, just to help me along my way. Um, but it is cool. It's in working condition. Don't know whether it will have had a box or anything, but it's got its key that's actually attached there under this uh, little solid tape. I'll get it off one sec. There, it's got its key there. So, yeah, cool item again. Um, and I'm hoping for some good money on that one. But I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, I don't know anything about it, but I just can feel the quality there. Um, next is this Matchbox Ford Capri 2. Um, and it's an AMT, like a uh, model, not model. Well, yeah, it's a model, but it's like a model kit. It says it on there model kit um so i don't like selling these the reason i don't like selling these is because when they're open i mean that's not open there i don't think no that one's sealed um that one's been opened but when they've been opened like this in the in the box you don't know what's there and you don't know what's not there um i don't know what this was going for as well oh no i know there wasn't any listed and there was one sold in the US for like eight pound plus like 12 quid shipping or 15 quid shipping or whatever. Um, so again, it's gonna be another item that I can charge a fair bit for, but I just need to like check check it and do all that sort of stuff. I, just, I don't like, the, this is the only thing out of this lot that I just don't like dealing with because, you know, it, it's knowing what's there and what's not there and all that sort of stuff. But it's still a nice item, you know, at the end of the day. It's still a cool item. But just one of them things that I'm not particularly too keen on dealing with. Um, but again, I think that's quite a, a good good item, quite a valuable item as well. So, yeah, that's on again in box condition, which is great. So I paid, I went over my maximum, actually, on this lot. My maximum was 50 I went to 55. I'm still happy. I still think there's some profit there for me. Um, and, I'm, you know, I'm really happy with the stuff I got. So I just need to research this thing a little bit more and see what I could sort of achieve on that guy. Um, but certainly I do think there's still some profit in that. There's still some room for me. So I was, I was comfortable at 55, but I shouldn't have really gone over my maximum. You know, I set my maximums for, for a reason. So I should have stayed at 50. Obviously, with commission, that took me just over the 60 pounds. So, yeah, yeah, it's like that. But I'm, I'm, I'm still happy, and there's still going to be profit in it at the end of the day, and that's what matters. So, yeah, I'm really happy I could get some, like, really interesting vintage toys as well, like a, an actual Marks toy in the box like that. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So, yeah, that's those. Anyway. And I love the dinky little bed for the lorry as well there. That's in fantastic condition. Um, and I did actually bid on um, a couple of boxes of dinky as well, like play warm ones. And I bid on uh, some other, like, Marks toys and things like that. Um, and other dinky toys, Corey toys, all that sort of stuff uh, in job lots, but I didn't get them. And I was a little bit sad because I didn't get them, but they did go a little bit too much over my maximum. Um, but then again, I don't know whether I actually looked at the lots in enough detail. Like I looked through them and stuff and I was doing estimates, but maybe if I had researched every single item in the lot, maybe then I could have gone up a little bit because I do think there was fantastic profit in it, even at my maximum so yeah maybe i could have could have gone a little bit higher and maybe won it but yeah i don't know we'll see for next time we'll see for next time um how many listings you currently got i have 900 
and like 95 listings. So very, very close to the thousand. I'll actually hit the thousand today. So yeah, cool. That is really cool. So yeah, this, that's that. Um, I'll put those there. Shall we do, let's do ceramics and stuff next. So these were just a few of the ceramics that came in my large, uh, well, not large, but I mean, my like little group lot of ceramics at Warrington Auction House for £12 plus commission. I don't know what this says on the bottom of it, but it has got a maker's mark. I'm going to go, um, one sec, I'm going to go back onto my little view. It has got a maker's mark on there. As you can see, don't know what it says. I'm going to have to have a better look at that. Um, but that's, it, it's okay. I don't particularly, it, it doesn't scream it for me. And with ceramics, it's like all about your own, you know, like it, it's about your taste, what you're going to have in your home. And, it, you know, it's about, I don't particularly like that. I wouldn't have that in my home. Um, so that's why I'm saying it's not, it doesn't scream out to me. But, I wasn't going to let that deter me from the lot because obviously this to someone, if I list this on eBay, to someone it might really scream out to them and they might want to buy it. So, yeah, but I, I don't particularly like it, but I'm sure someone else will. I don't mind the colour, but can you see now it's uh, like sort of inscribed here, inscribed design, um, and it just, it just looks a little bit too rough and ready for me. Some people love that. Some people absolutely love that. For me, I'm not too much of a fan of it. You see, see where they've inscribed these little designs here, these little cuts. It's very, what do you call it? Not it's a word. Not, not quite rough, but like uh, very earthly. That you know, very like uh, real pottery, like real pottery. You know, where they're actually inscribing it and stuff like that. I'm not too keen on that. I like it nice and smooth and glazed and lovely. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there's people who are screaming at me now like, oh, my God, that's a beautiful piece and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, that was that one from the £12 lot, so I'm happy with that. That one will probably cover me 12 quid, to be honest. I'll probably whack that one for about 20 quid, something like that. So, yeah, I'm happy with that one. But, as I say, I'm, I, it doesn't scream out to me, but I'm still happy that there's money in it. So, that's that one. I thought I'd show you this one, but there is a lot more studio pottery that I've, uh, well, not a lot more, but a bit more um, that I got from this lot, but I'm not showing you everything. It takes forever. Um, there's also other little bits I've left out of this haul because it's just going to take forever if I do. Um, got some sort of mark to the base there. I haven't a clue what that is. Not of any major quality, um, but it's like this little Chinese sort of bud vase, bud vase even. I always say vase, bud vase, so that's that. Um, nice little jug here. Um, I thought that was quite nice. It kind of reminds me of Fat Lava a little bit with this running down here. So maybe that's why I like it. It's unmarked, um, but still, I think like 15 quid, 15 to 20 pound on that, I'm hoping. I'll, I'll start at that. If I need to work down, I need to work down. But I know it's unmarked, but I just think that's quite a nice piece. So I think it deserves that sort of price level. I don't think it's a £10 plus postage item, so yeah, that's what I'm going to shoot for on that, quite quite nice, I quite like that. Um, what else? Ooh. This is like, uh, I've had some Arthur Wood before, and this is kind of like that, I don't think it is that, I can't see the mark on it, it's got a little mark there, don't know what that says though, but it's got 1827, which I don't know, will be like the pattern number, or the item number so i don't know it'll be something like that made in england stamped on the bottom of it but yeah that's okay nothing amazing nothing really special um at least i don't think it is i don't know it could be it could be but i'm just saying it's not um and then there's this this is loaf weight i believe it says low low weight i can't i can't see that it's such a small little impression there but it's like low weight or something, or a little stamp there. Yeah, I think it's that. But that's quite a nice, big, big piece, big jug that. Um, so, yeah, that's quite nice as well, and that's going to get me some money back. Don't know what I'm going to price that at, at yet, um, but I'll have a look, do a bit more research and stuff. Um, I imagine not less than 20 quid. I'd probably go higher than 20 on that, but, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have a look. I'll do some more research. I'm still not 
that clued up with Studio Pottery. I just sort of, you just sort of create a price. And in one way, that's great. But in another way, it's kind of a bit hard as well. And you kind of have to learn how to master that. Um, as I was saying with the top pack, you know. So, and then, not finally, because there are other things in this lot, but the other things aren't great. Um, is this rum top thing? And you're saying, what about its lid? Well, it's lids there. Um, this is like the white version. Now, I think, going off sold and stuff, I think people do tend to like the um, brown version better. I'm not sure, but I, th I think we do. Um, probably going to go between like 10, 20 quid on that. Not not a whole lot, but yeah. Anyway, it might price a little bit higher than that, but solds don't seem to be that good on these. So yeah, that's those anyway. So what I'm going to do is just put them back up there because... I don't want to knock any of them or anything. Uh, that's a whopper. Yeah, I know that blue one is. It's massive. Um, so I'll just whack that on here. So we've still got quite a bit to go. So I apologise that we're taking forever. But, you know, I've got a bit of time to spend. So I can do it. And I've, I've not done a video in like a week. So I kind of owe you guys a fairly long video to, to make up for that. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'll put that there. It's very tricky, this job, trying to show you all this sort of stuff. Uh, right, we'll do... What should we do? What should we do? Let's go and get them from over here. Whoa! Right, let's get this. Now, there is other stuff with this. I don't really... He's he's in the, in the zone. Uh, yeah, I was in the zone a minute ago, but I said I needed to get going with this because we've got so much stuff. Um, so, there is other stuff. Please don't make me go and get it. It's so heavy. There's not anything like... Oh, yeah, there is one thing that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, one sec. Right. I'll get that. Right. Don't make me go and get the other stuff. Um, basically, it's a banana box full of glassware, little like uh, paperweights, and look, there's like a couple of models of glass cannons in there, you know, the little, you, you see them all the time. There's a little like oil can or sprayer in there, I don't know, but nothing amazing, amazing anyway. But um, I've, what did I pay for this? 25. Let's, let's check. Where's my, is it in here still? Oh, no, there it is. Let's check. I think it was 25. Might have been 20, but I think it was 25. No, 20. No, it was 20. 20 pound plus commission. So 25, nearing 25 pound um, with commission. So, yeah, basically this little thing down here and then that lot over there, that lot over there will pay for the job lot and maybe get me a bit of profit. And then this thing and this, well, this intrigued me. Well, it didn't intrigue me, actually. My grandma saw it, and then she said, oh, that's interesting. Um, it's like this, you know, it's like a, what do you call it? What do you, what do you call something like that? There's a word for it, you know, like a little uh, like a little figure on a base, or not a plaque. I don't know what the word for it is, but I'm sure someone will know what the word for it is. But it's this little uh, squirrel. Um, I think, doing a bit of research, it might be pewter, um, and it's squirrel from the Evergreen collection. Don't know where you see that there. Now, there's one from Canada. This, what, this is what intrigued me about it. It was the price. One of these, the exact same one, from Canada, and it said new, and it was like new. I was like, right, okay, so it's, it must be in a box, and it must be all nice and all new, brand new, all that sort of stuff. And I've got it on for £149. Plus postage. I don't think it's worth that. But what do I know? What the hell do I know? I don't know. I don't know whether it's worth that or not. But I just don't think it is. I don't feel like it is. Um, plus like 40 quid postage if you want it posted over here. Um, so that's what intrigued me about it. I don't know. Maybe someone else can tell me what they think it's worth or what, it, or if they think it's anything. Um, it's quite, well, it is pretty heavy. Um, I really don't think it's worth anywhere near that. I don't know what I would particularly price it at at all, um, but 
I think it, it's certainly worth something, and it's worth selling individually. So, yeah, I don't know. But I, I wanted to show you that as well, uh, out of the lot. And then we've got, well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the stuff in here first. There's a, few, there's a few odds and ends in here that should be over there, really. But just like a little black, blast, a like trinket dish or something there, with a little, uh, you know, a little design in there. It's got like a little deer or antelope or I don't know. I don't know what these things are. Don't even know what that would be used for. Not really a paperweight or something, I don't think. But I don't know, like a little desk thing. I don't know. I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. What am I saying? I haven't a clue. Some sort of dish there for something over there. Oh, like a cake slicer. It's not a fish slice, is it? No, it's like a cake slicer. Um, and then something else again. This is uh, EPNS, I imagine. I don't know. No, it doesn't say that. No. Well, I don't know. Some sort of metalware, anyway. Um, and then another little deer. Probably sell them two together. There might be another one in that box, actually. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it in there. And then the main thing that drew me to the lot was this rather heavy fire log bucket type thing with this. I don't know what you'd call it. Now, I want to say, I want to say that this is a motif. I don't think that's the right word, but I just like using that word. Um, and then it's got like this little plaque on the top there. So I thought that's quite cool. That sort of drew me to the lot. Honestly, I haven't a clue what this is worth, but I, I'm assuming it's going to pay for the lot at you know, the 24, 25 quid. I'm hoping so anyway. Um, but yeah, quite a nice heavy item. Um, don't know whether I'm going to give it an, a nice clean up or not. I know that some people don't clean my items up, some people do. So I don't know. I might do, I might not. But yeah, quite nice anyway. So that's what sort of drew me to the lot, and as I say, there was the other little bits and bobs. Over there, as I mentioned, there's like a little sprayer thing. Not, I don't know whether it's an oil, actually I'll get that, I'll get that, because I don't know whether it's an oil can or like a garden sprayer. Um, it might be on the little, it might be on the sheet actually, you know, where it says. But I don't know, let's uh, move these back as well while I'm doing it. I don't know. I don't know what this what this is. Let's see. And then I'll go back into the chat. So yeah, that thing. Don't know whether it's a garden sprayer or oil can. I, I don't know. Pro probably a sprayer, to be honest. Probably a sprayer. Um, in gel nook log basket burner in title. Coal scuttle. My grandma said it was a coal scuttle, but I said to her, no, it's a log basket. And then, so if they're the same thing, then I must have looked like a right fool. Um, yeah, ads, look at the chat. I know, I know. Uh, don't clean it. In, in gel nook log basket burner in title. Well, great, that's paid for the lot anyway, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so I won't clean it. <laughs> I won't clean it. Um, yeah, so that's that. So, um, oil can. Oh, it's an oil can. It's an indoor plant sprayer. I don't, okay. Should I just put both of those things in the title? Just just to give it a bit, the title, a bit of a, a kick. Uh, no marks or anything to it, but yeah. So that, all, you know, that thing will pay for the lot. Everything else is profit. So I'm happy with that. Um, right, so that's that. Let's do lot 259. The lot that I was originally not going to bid on, and then I ended up bidding on anyway. Let's just uh, move that out of here. Sorry, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I apologise. You know. But there are some very nice items to come. Well, they're not valuable, but they're just cool in my mind. So, right. So, uh, one second. Let me get me, let me get my paper out. Oh, where is it? Oh, don't tell me I've lost my paper. I need that. Oh, there it is. Right, one sec. Let me get the paper out. Do, 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 do. 259. £20 plus commission I paid for this lot. I think it's worth it, but what do I know? <laughs> um, so, 
And I'm going to continue saying that until I actually know what I'm doing with this sort of stuff. So you're going to get a lot of that from me over the next few months until I actually know sort of some things about this stuff. It's, um, what does it say in the, oh, it's like a planter? No, vase. No, that's what it said. It said in the little condition thing or the little description, you know, like at auction houses, we do them little piddly descriptions. Um, it said in the description, it is a Eastern copper vase. Eastern copper vase. I don't know. Yeah, so just looks a bit big for a vase. I don't know, but I mean, you could use it for anything, really. Is it too small to put your walking sticks in? Probably, but that might serve one use. Um, I don't know. There's, there's a few uses you could do with it, but I like the look of it. And this was the thing that attracted me to the lot. Um, so I had a bid. I had a bid, so that was that one anyway. And I think that's quite nice. Um, it's got these, like, little... Oh, you, you can't see there. These are, like, little blue... I probably just made of glass or something, but they're quite nice. And then we've got these like little floral things on here with this metal. So that's quite nice. I just think it's quite nice. I just, I could, I just quite liked it. I couldn't not bid. So that isn't all I got for 20 quid, just so you know. I'm not insane. I wouldn't bid 20 quid just for that. I like my job lot, so I'm not going to bid just 20 quid for that. I got this thing which is for near your fire, obviously. I've had a few of these before. Three-legged little thing there. I've not had one of that sort of shape, though. That's a pretty cool shape. Um, so that's that. Let me... Well, um... Oh, God. The things I do for YouTube, eh? Um, these were described as a trio of Victorian jugs, I believe. Uh, and these were in the, the lot that I'm, you know, going through at the moment. So this one, which is the largest one, this one, which is slightly smaller, you know, graduated jugs, basically. Um, that was it. The graduated, graduated. That was the word we used. Um, and then there's the smallest one. Thought they were pretty cool. Going to be some when you them, obviously. There's a little mark there. Don't know whether that means anything. Probably does. It's probably a maker's mark or something. I don't know. Um, it's got this very, very fine crazing on it. Very, very fine. But I think that's actually normal for these type of pieces. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I have seen it quite a lot. So I don't know whether that is normal or not, but I do think it kind of is. Although this, no, this one hasn't got it. Well, maybe it isn't normal. Maybe that one just does have some crazing, but that's not going to harm it much, is it? So it's not bad crazing at all. Just very, 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 very fine. Um, but yeah, so that's those. They were in the lot. And then we've got this little, um, like, chamber stick. Chamber stick with the little, what's you call it, snuffer? Is that right? A little snuffer thing for on the cat. Well, you wouldn't put it there, but, you know, when the candle's in it uh, to, to the... Um, extinguish the candle so yeah that's that i don't know whether this is epns or don't know i'm obsessed with epns today um don't know whether it's made of epns or just like a random metal i haven't a clue and then we've got these things and i used to see these loads at the auction when i was working there um and they're like these are well candlestick holders obviously i've got two there and then, I didn't actually realise this, but there's only one of them. Hmm, that's weird. There's only one of them. There's not another one. But, I mean, I might be able to sell it singularly. I probably will do. I've seen, actually, one of the next lots I'm going to show you, I've seen one of them on singularly, and they're candlestick holders. So, yeah, that's those. I did say the other day, oh, I'm not going to get any more candlestick holders. But these aren't brass, so I'm winning. So, there we go. Although I have got some brass ones. So, yeah, kind of didn't win. But anyway, that's that. So, I'll put them there carefully. And we'll carefully transfer them back over there. Right. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Right, should we do annuals next? No, no, let's do... Right, one sec, one sec.
professionalism of the highest quality when you come to my channel. That's what you get. No, you, you, you get like proper, um, this is, on my channel, I like to do proper business, nitty gritty. You know, like I, I won't flower it up or anything. This is what, literally, this is what I do. I'm moving stuff, I'm lifting things, I'm photoing things, nitty gritty stuff. And that's what I like to show. So we'll do these few and then we'll go on to uh, the annuals and stuff. And then the one thing that I really want to show you. Um, seven quid for this taboo seal. Um, and I'm looking at 50 quid on Amazon FBA. But I am actually going to save it for Christmas and see if I can't push a little bit more. Some people are probably thinking, 50 quid, wow, Jesus, is that even achievable? Well, I've sold a lot of seal board games for good money. So, yeah, I, I will tell you it is achievable. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to save that for Christmas because I do want to um, stock up a little bit like a few things for Christmas because I've still only got about a box worth of stuff for Amazon FBA for Christmas. But what I actually want to do is have about three boxes worth of sealed stuff ready. So then in October or November, I can just whack that up to the warehouse um, and then get a nice boost in sales at fourth quarter. So yeah, going to save that for, for fourth quarter. And then again, £7 for this, £25 this does seal picturing me at the moment. Probably going to be doing more than that at Christmas though. So well, most probably, almost definitely. So, yeah, just fingers crossed I don't get restricted in this stuff, but I can still shift it on eBay at Christmas for profit, so that's okay, even if I do. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's that. they're, they're going to go up to Amazon at Christmas, and we've got a logo game, not seen one of these in a while, £3, and I'm going to be looking at about 15 quid currently on FBA, so... Yeah, that's all, and I'm going to send that in now. I, I thought about waiting till Christmas on this one, but I thought I'll just send that in now. Um, so that's those, that's the uh, seal board games one sec. Not got much left now, not got too much. So I know we've been, God, Jesus, have we been an hour almost already? Wow. Right, one sec, one sec. Right then. Right, I'm going to check the chat because we, I'm not checked the chat in a while. Check the chat. Sounds weird, that. Hmm. Right, let's go. Uh, three jugs, total recall. He has a pair now. Over an hour. Over an hour. Wow. Okay, cool. Far Eastern, Neil says about the, um, that thing, I think. Yeah. So Far Eastern is in maybe, what, Chinese? That Far East? I don't know. Can't, although, I, I could believe that. It kind of has that look to it. Oh, yeah. It has, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It has, like, the little faces. Like, the gar not gargoyle faces. What are they called? I don't know what they're called over in China, but it has those kind of faces that you see on, like, um, monuments over there and stuff. Um, right, what are we, what are we doing? Copper again, nice, I know. Um, I see I took around 300 pips. Oh, right, okay, that's just chat, random chat. You're tr truly unique. Yeah, well, I, I try to be. Um, so, well, I don't try to be, actually. I just am, but, yeah. Um, right, let's do these. These were in another glassware job lot that I paid £18 for plus commission. There is like a whole host of other little bits and bobs with this job lot in your room. But again, like that stuff over there, I didn't want to show you each individual item. It's just not worth it. So I've got some sort of what, copper kettle. Um, it's like an electric one, this one. Yeah, it is. It's like a, an electric one with these little prongs here. Um, Premier system detachable cover so obviously this one's a little bit later than the other ones i've had before in the past um but yeah i thought that was pretty cool so i got that in the lot um i don't know whether there's, there's a stand with this there might have been in the other i don't know i don't know but yeah that was that one in the lot i also got like again a grad like the jugs a graduated set of um colanders like vintage colanders brass and copper so they're quite cool. Not very big, but, you know, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, so I've got those as well in the lot. And then i got sort of like 
very, very small, very, very thin, mini, like, bud vases. I always say vase. I mean, I always say vase. I mean vase. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, I can say it whichever way I want. But, yeah, uh, two of these, like, very, very mini bud vases. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't sound right, vase, to me. Um, but, yeah, so that's those. And then we've got some sort of, like, um, you know, some pattern on it. Don't know whether it's a floral design or something. I, I don't know, but yeah, two of them. I don't know whether there's anything else I bought in from that lot. But I'd say there was a few other odds and sods. Nothing amazing. It was, I think I've got the the few things there that I picked out to hand, you know, that were seemingly better. Um, I think I've got them listed at like 15 quid. So I was surprised they did so well, actually. I didn't think they'd be, be near that, to be honest. But that's those. Um, I'll put these here. One sec. One sec. One sec. Why right, I'm going to do annuals now. So this was a really nice little score, this one, actually. Um, check if I'm in frame again. Right. I'm in frame, so we're going to do this. So... These were uh, £10 plus commission, so like 12 quid. So I was really happy because my maximum on these was like 25 quid. So, like, you know, 15 quid, you know, less than my maximum. So that's all obviously added on in profit. So I got, now I did research 95% of these. I think there might be a couple in here that I've not researched, but I'll go through them anyway. Um, and I think most of these were like, a few of them were like five, six quid each. Um, and then I think it was a couple that were over a tenner. Um, and then the rest again, like five, ten pounds, something like that. But I thought, you know, now, I thought even at 25 quid, it's less than a pound and uh, pan, pound an annual because I've got 30. And um, I can list these pretty quick. I might do some bundles. Um, and then do, you know, a few bundles, like I might do, I've got a couple of, I've got about four or five Eagle ones in here. I might do a bundle of Eagle, you know, and maybe five Eagle magazines and do it for 20 quid, something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you them anyway. At £10 plus commission, I was really happy. And there's some decent profit in here. So we've got the ABC Warriors book two. We've got Judge Caligula. Caligula. Um, uh, book two, we've got uh, Judge Caligula, book one. Don't know when these were done, probably 80s, 82, 83, 82. So that was those. Um, I've got ABC, book one, again, like 83. I'll, I'm just whacking through these because, uh, you know, the. They are cool, but, I mean, you don't want to be hearing loads about them. You know, I've got quite a few of them, so it would take forever if I was really going into detail on them. Uh, book, uh, The Cursed Earth Part 2, uh, 1982. Cursed Earth Part 1, again, 1982, I would imagine, yep. Um, so that was those. We got some, one isn't in the best of condition, but got some Rupert annuals from the 70s, I believe. I did check in them earlier. And I think it said 74 or something. Um, the Daily Daily Express did them. So, Rupert. Um, again, Rupert. And then this is, this is the one not in best condition. Um, but Rupert again. And then Rupert. Oh, two more. Rupert and then Rupert. So, I'll do, I'll do these as a bundle. I don't know what I'm going to get back. But I imagine even as, as that bundle there, I'll make my money back. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. I don't know about those sort of magazines here. I don't, I think these were the ones I didn't research, or if I did, I may have researched just one or two of them. Um, but yeah, I'll do them. I like, I'll do the, the two Cursed Earth. I'll do the two Cursed Earth together. I'll do the ABC Warriors together, and then I'll do, do the Judge Caligula together. So that's those. Uh, Tiger Annual 1968, there. Um, Victor, Book for Boys. Uh, Lion Annual 1976. I don't know. I think that was okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But uh, Eagle 1966. 
Eagle 19. I'm just going to go through them here now because you don't really need to see all of them. Uh, Eagle 1983. Uh, Eagle 1984. I'm just going to pull out the, the cool ones, I think. Judge Dredd, 1983. So I, I bet this is giving some people nostalgia. Um, 1981, 2000 AD. Um, what did they say? I, I don't know, Lisa. I don't know. You, you'd have to look it up. Just search like um, Rupert Daily, Ma Daily Express Annual 1974 or something like that. I'm sure you'll get them up on completed. I don't... Oh. Was that? Was that my? That wasn't a kaching, was it? I don't know. Wasn't a kaching. Right. Yeah. So that's those. I got um two fat. Oh no, it's something else. It's another bell or something around here. Um, Judge Dredd, Star Lord, and oh man, I got two of these Star Lord annuals. Thirty bucks in total, anyway. Um, nineteen eighty. I think this is eighty one. Yeah, that's eighty one. So. That was those, anyway. I just thought I'd quickly go through them. Uh, only one lot to go now. So if you stuck it this far, actually, we've got more people watching than at the start. So, yeah. Sorry, Lisa. I know. I, I don't know. I, I should have prepared better for this video, and then I could have let you know. Um, I imagine as a bundle, I get like 15, 20 quid. I, I, I don't know, but I'm guessing, but I just think that's probably about right. But, well, check completed and sold, anyway. Right, one sec. Now, these are the things I am most excited about. Whoa, one second. Well, I say that, I mean, I was I was really excited about the toys there that I showed earlier on, but these were a thing I was like, oh my God, I've got a half. Um, and I was so glad I got them for the price I wanted to get them at. One sec, let me just... Right, I'm in frame. I'm in frame. I just like I have to keep checking that I'm in frame now because when I do my uh, mobile live streaming, I, I just know I'm always in frame. But because I'm 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 actually on the chat screen right now, I have to keep flicking in bit in between back and two. So got these for fifteen pound plus commission. My maximum was twenty five, and it shouldn't have been twenty five. Honestly. <laughs> My maximum really should have been about 15 or 20 pound on these because, yeah, I mean, it, there wouldn't have been that much profit in it at 25 pound, but I just, oh my God, I love these. Ads, there is a Rupert Bear annual 1973, which is worth a lot of money, Daily Express. I bought one years ago, but the bear has to have a white or brown face. Um, can't remember which which I had the wrong one. Right, I will I will double check that. I will I won't list the Rupert Bear ones anyway. So yeah, thanks for that, Anne, because I wouldn't have known that otherwise. So yeah, these are a really cool thing. It's a shame Phoebe has to go because she won't see them. But these are a really cool thing. I love them. Don't know why I love them, but they're just cool. Um, so I'm gonna show you one by one, but I'm gonna be fairly quick with these. So I paid £15 plus commission, about £17, £18, including commission. Um, so it was less than a pound a piece, which I'm really happy with. Um, so, yeah, this was this um, Nestle. These are all like milk bottles. or I don't quite know what they're... I'm, I'm assuming these were milk bottles because basically we've got these imprinted um, advertisers logos on, and it's all to do with, like, cereals or chocolate and things like that so when you're pouring your milk on when you know or when the kids are pouring the milk on in the morning they'd see the advertisement and think oh yeah i must go to the shop later on and well, on the way back from school and pick up a cadbury bar or whatever so yeah um so that's a little nestle one have a good day now these can go like pretty all over the place you know there's a, a few small bundles of them that have gone you know 20 odd quid for just a small bundle and then there's other bundles that have gone for like, you know, five, ten pounds for a bundle. I think it depends on the subject matter. Um, I think it depends obviously on that the advertisement on the on the bottle there. Unfortunately, I didn't think, because I was so in love with them, I didn't think um about cleaning them up. I didn't I didn't even look at the fact they were dirty. I you know, my my uh, rose tinted goggles 
were, were completely on. And I just thought, oh, I don't care if they're dirty. I didn't even see that. I just thought, I want them, I want them, I want them. So I'm going to have to clean them up, you know. It's going to be a bit of a labour of love, though. I quite, I quite like these. They are pretty cool. Um, if anyone remembers these, please do let me know. I mean, my grandma said she didn't remember these. So I don't know whether... Oh, yeah, there we go. Lisa says, shame, I have a couple here from when I was a little kid. Oh, right. Well, yeah, my grandma said she doesn't remember these. So at then, that, uh, that made me think, could they come from America or something? But, yeah, I don't know. But then, but then I asked my mum, and she said, um, she said, yeah, we used to have them on the table. But obviously my grandma is my mum's mum. So how does that work? How does my mum remember them but not my grandma? So, yeah. Uh, milkman used to deliver chocolate milk, strawberry milk, orange juice as well. Now, we didn't have them. We don't have the milkman anymore. I remember the milkman. Uh, we had him for quite a while. Um, I don't remember there being the option, though, of doing the chocolate milk. So maybe I'm a little bit too young for that. But, um, uh, but yeah, I, I definitely remember the milkman. But then we stopped, uh, we stopped using him. I think, does the milkman still come round? Is that a thing still? I don't know. I've not had... We've not had him for years, so yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got 20 of these. I'm going to very, very quickly now go through them individually. Let's do the dairy quest, one from the dairy. Um, we've got the uh, Thai Foo, fresh brew. Um, we've got another dairy one from the dairies. My grandma said that she did remember the dairy ones, you know, from the advertising the dairies. Um, we've got a cool one here. Buy a ch Chucky Chicken. Now, that, I was just thinking that's a crack there, but it's not. It's actually just the way the bottles... Or oh, is it a crack? Oh, it looks like it might be a crack, that. But anyway, that buy a Chucky Chicken from your milkman. <laughs> Don't know what that is. We've got um, Brook Bond D, Try the D, Treatment T. Oh, God, I don't know what that is. Six Little Crackers. From your milkman. That was obviously like a, a, a dairy advertisement. Uh, I like quite. I quite like this one. My grandma said she remembers this one. Uh, pure fruit juice. Um, so pretty cool. Um, we've got Crusher. Oh my God, Crusher! Forgot all about that. Oh yeah, Crusher. I don't think I ever had it, but I remember kids at school talking about it. Uh, Crusher, shake up a milkshake. Yeah. We've got um, McLean's toothpaste or something. Why have we got toothpaste on here? On milk. That's a bit odd. Uh, use your milkman. Don't let him become a thing of the past. I think he might have become a thing of the past now. I'm very sorry. Maybe there are a lot of places that still do milkmen, but I've never seen him come around here anymore. Brook Bond D. Try the tea thing again. Uh, this is Ready Breck. Ready Breck. Um, again, Brook Bond T. Buy a Chucky Chicken. We've got another one of them. I'm very excited about these. McLean, McLean's or McLean's or however you say it. Cadbury's drinking chocolate. Now, that might be a, a good one. Uh, obviously, because I, I think, I'm thinking the more well-known ones of these, um, are worth more. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they're worth less. But maybe it, no. It, actually, it's probably the more obscure ones. The more obscure ones that are worth more, not the bloody common ones. What am I saying? Um, Ready Black Central Heating for Kids. Central Heating for Kids. Isn't it? Um, oh, and then Cool them Milky Way. Cool. So I couldn't leave them. I couldn't leave them for fifteen quid plus commission. I know there's profit in that. For, there's, there's 20 milk, milk bottles there. Clean them up. Give them a nice clean. Oh, my hands are black now. Um, give them a nice clean. Uh, probably do them in maybe bundles of four or something like that. Five bundles of four. Um, I'm hoping to get 60, 70 quid out of, out of the bundles. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that out of 18 quid. So, yeah. Um, don't really like... like <laughs> Don't really like drinking cow pus juice. Oh my god, I don't think of it like that. But it is weird, isn't it? You know, it's like um, what is it like? I don't know. It's like 
I know we're kind of drinking another animal's milk, but which, yeah, I suppose it is a bit weird. I'm trying to think of a. I'm trying to think of like a, um, a similarity, like what is it actually like, but I can't think of what another similar situation. But yeah, it is kind of a bit weird, isn't it? That we're drinking the milk of another animal, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think about it too much. It don't, it doesn't give me sleepless nights. Um, they are great social history. They are, they are great. I love them, and no one was interested, and it made me mad. Like it made me happy because i got them but it made me a bit upset and a bit angry because i was thinking well no one is interested in them so why is that you know i mean no one's interested in things like this they just get forgotten and then and that's that you know no, no one remembers it it's about passing these this information on you know um 1980s yeah that's exactly what i was thinking neil especially because that was when my mum was growing up and that uh, obviously uh, she said that she remembered them, so yeah, she was born in 1960. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm not going to actually tell you her age, but there we go. There's a, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a peek there. I'm sure she won't mind. Um, cool bottles, nonetheless. Um, you're going to milk this bottle hole. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I've got it. Oh no, sorry, sorry. One more thing. One more thing. Right. One more thing. I have to finish on the bloody small fail right it's not necessarily a fail it's like the top hat it could go either way these are right i'm sure uh, a few people in the chat will know what these are i'm just gonna flick onto my screen so i know where i am so these are can you tell me what they are can anyone tell me does anyone know what they are well the brass candlestick holders i know that but what's the name of them Anyone know the name? Anyone know the name? Anyone know the name? No, no one's get. No one knows the name. I'll give you a few more seconds because I know the chat might be running on a delay. Giving away your mum's age ads, you will find your bags. I didn't. I didn't give it away. I just. I, I just wanted to give you a bit of a, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a taster. Um. Yeah, they are candlesticks. They are called. Um, they're, they're brass candlesticks, but they're called the King of, King of Diamonds, I believe, these ones. Um, and I wasn't going to bid on it. And then I thought, oh, they're nice, they're nice. And I looked. I was bidding online, and I looked, right, very, very quickly. The lot was literally round the corner. It was literally the next lot on was these. So I had to be incredibly quick. And um, I, 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 you know, typed it in as fast as I could. And I got to active listings and I saw one for 125 and I managed to just click sold and then the item came on. So I looked at about two solds and one had gone for like 50 pound plus postage and then one had gone for like 30 quid plus postage. And to be honest, I think I looked afterwards and I think they may be the only two solds on there from the last three months. But anyway. Um, there was one on, as I say, a pair of these on for one, two, five. That was the ones I saw listed. And I saw one sold 50 quid plus postage, which was almost 60 quid because it was like eight pound post postage. But um, the, when it started at like 15 quid, no one really had much interest. So I bid the 15, someone bid 20, and then I bid 25. And it was a problem because it was a, uh, it was a spur of the moment thing, and um, it it was one of them things like I, I, I shouldn't have done it. I, if I wanted to bid on it, I should have looked further further ahead of the auction, so then I had a good enough amount of time to research them. Um, so I just feel like twenty five pound plus postage, it was paying up a bit. It really was. Um, now one of them, one single candlestick, is listed. Or was it sold? It was either listed or sold. I can't remember. But one of them, just one single one, had gone for about thirty or forty pound plus postage. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know whether I've done right or wrong for twenty five pound plus commission. I'm gonna shoot high anyway. You know, I'll shoot for a hundred quid. Um, you know, the other guys at one hundred and twenty five. I'll shoot for a hundred, and we'll see. I don't know, we might sell in a few months' time, and I might be like, oh, yeah, look, guys, I, I, made a great, uh, I made a great purchase there. I don't know why I ever doubted myself. The problem is, as well, is that one guy, 
one um, probably uh, shooting himself in his in the foot. Really, he's got them listed for nineteen ninety nine plus postage. I don't know what he's doing. I don't. I don't know whether they are the exact same ones or what, but. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's shooting himself in the foot if he's doing that. I know that he can definitely get more than 20 quid for me. So, worst comes to worst, I sell him for 50 plus postage, make a 10 quid profit or something or whatever it is, um, and then move on, you know. But there's, there's money in them, um, and I'm hoping that I can shoot high and get the high price. But I do get, I do get a little bit... Um, I do doubt myself a little bit, especially when it's like a, a spur of the moment purchase like that. So that was that. That was the last thing. Um, don't worry about other sellers' ads. The condition will be different. Um, make sure to stand out. Buy um, you buy his and sell them on. Yeah, I know. I've, I've thought about that quite a lot. So yeah, um, ninety nine, ninety nine, free PMP offer overseas postage. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Um, buy his and offer a set of four. I don't know whether someone would want a set of four, though. Um, two sets for £99, uh, 90 pound each, boom, baby. No, someone else someone else can go and snipe them if you want, because I, I don't want his on there at 1999 because that's like someone else will choose his over mine then. Well, not necessarily, because you might think, oh, well, he's a bit cheap. I'm not going to go with him. But, you know, you might choose his over mine. So I don't really want his on there. But, yeah. Um, so that was those. I mean... There might be some decent money in them. It might just be my little, um, my my little ner, you know, little nervous tick or whatever. But yeah, that's a. So I have got a few other items, but I'm not going to show you them because we've been on for so long now, and um, they're, they're not great. They're just like random odds and sods, really. Um, so yeah, that was my sort of two auction hauls, even though there is, as I say, a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I, I mean. The catalogs were okay. It was the first time this time that I really thought like there wasn't as much choice. Um, the Warrington one, um, yeah, the Warrington one didn't seem to be that much choice there, but I did get a few lots, so I can't complain. The Nutsford one was okay, but it's probably this has probably been the one where I've got the least amount of stuff so far. Um, and it, you know, you've got to think auctions like car boots, they, you know, it's going to be good work one week, not that great the next. And I still got a decent amount of stuff, so I can't complain. Um, I am interested to see what you got in your lots. I am interested. Oh, what the other one? I can show you the other ones, but I'll, I'll do it on another video if you want. Like another, I'll do it tomorrow's video, but it's just like the odds and sods, really. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing special. Um, it's not really like new locked, it's just like the remains were a few of the ceramics and stuff, like the smaller ones and the crapper ones. Um, but I've showed you like the be better bits. Um, well, I'll show you them tomorrow if you want. Like, Thursday talks, um, get yours right. Yeah, so I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. We've got 18 people watching. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it was very unprofessional, very sporadic all that sort of stuff but you know what you get with me um and i wanted to do one big haul video and then get it all out in front of you so and i don't need to do about five different multiple videos um so i'd rather just do it all in one big hour and a half and do like three or four you know 20 minute half an hour videos so yeah i'll leave it there guys thank you very much for watching i will get processing some of this stuff i need to go around and see ryan at some point because i need to discuss Thursday talks from tomorrow because I've got the 75th special and yeah I will see you in that tomorrow so without further ado I shall say goodbye so thanks for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow